Bob Andy Bashir. Thanks for having me today. Thank you. Excited to be here. What's your name? Austin, nice to meet you. And who's this? Oh, we nice to meet you. Hey, Cole Andy. Oh, <laughs> neither <laughs> one. <laughs> Thirteen and fourteen, they sleep too much now. Oh, that's <laughs> <you. laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I appreciate you making time to come down and visit Beaver Dam and WPT's latest expansion here at Plant Three. Uh, we're going to have a, a little ceremony here. I'm going to introduce a few folks and then. After the ceremony is over, everybody hang loose and we'll go out and we'll tour the production floor and we'll see the new line and, and we'll tell you a little bit more about what we're doing here. Um, to start things off, I'll introduce my grandfather, uh, Wayne Robbins. Wayne's the founder of WPT and a uh, personal hero of mine. Thank you, Travis. It's a pleasure to be here today. I had no idea about this. Uh, five years ago, I would have thought it was just a dream. A year ago, it was beginning to be a real dream. <laughs> now, it's here. But I want to tell you, I'm, I'm certain that you all have you here, and this crew here is beyond my recognition. I want to tell you, I love this crew. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's do this. When, when we first started this, this travel, traveling this journey, Pat and myself saw the company folding up, and we decided that was not a good thing for this community and for the people that work there. So we begin to bathe this thing in prayer. Oh. <laughs> so we bathed it in prayer and the Lord's been good to us. So at this time, I want us to go to the Lord in prayer just to thank Him for what He's done. Father, I do thank You that uh, You have breathed Your Spirit on us and You have loved us so very much. Father, I thank You for what You've done in our lives and the lives of this community. Father, we are taught in the Word that we're supposed to lift our leaders up to You in prayer. And we come now today, Lord, to do just that very thing. We lift our governor up to you, our governor to share. We pray, Lord, that you would grant him wisdom that he needs to follow you and to guide this state where we need to go. I thank you for him and for his leadership, for his staff, and we just pray that you would be with each one of them. Be with our local uh, leaders, community. We pray for our mayors, our uh, commissioners, whoever they might be. We pray the same for them. Thank you, Lord, for loving us and caring for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I'll try not to wreck it for <laughs> So good afternoon. Again, my name is Travis Robbins. I'm the president of WPT Non Wovens Corporation. I want to thank Governor Bashir for being here today, as well as uh, Judge Executive Johnston and uh, Corky Peak and Phyllis Bruni from the Kentucky Economic Development Cabinet. We appreciate your, your presence here today as well. Our local officials family and friends, and, and all the, the team at WPT. <clears throat> After a successful 30-year career in furniture manufacturing, Wayne transitioned to be the plant manager uh, at American Non-Woven's Beaver Dam, Kentucky site, a privately owned manufacturing company with several locations around the Southeast United States. And we fast forward 15 years, the, the previous ownership came to Wayne, and they announced insolvency in the wake of the financial crisis of 2008. And at the age of 68 years old, Wayne, had, Wayne was faced with a unique and difficult decision. He could happily and comfortably retire, or he could push all the chips in, go to the courthouse steps, and purchase the plant he spent the last decade and a half managing and pouring his, his career into. After all those years working with customers and leading a team of American non wovens in Beaver Dam, and after much prayer and the unwavering support of his fat wife, his wife Pat, they trusted God and placed that had placed him in this position for a reason and that called him to create our company. Wayne founded WPT in June of 2008 with a mission to manufacture and supply high quality American made non-woven cotton medical dressings to the North American healthcare market, creating an opportunity for the future generations of his family and saving the jobs of those team members that supported him 
and ensuring this vital place of employment would remain in, Ohio, in the Ohio County community. Wayne and Pat's courage and resolve has paid off. From humble beginnings to one of the premier American manufacturers of non-woven fabric in the United States in just 15 short years, and for that, we are all very grateful. None of this would have been possible, though, without the founding team who stood by him, believed in him, and bet everything they had on his ability to get WPT off the ground. And some of those individuals are still here supporting our mission today. I'd like to take a minute and recognize those founding members. Please stand as I call your name and come up front. Wayne Robbins supports our founder. Greg Bradley. Stacy Mitten. John Turner. B.B. Byron Bodner. Jason Todd. Julie Tyler. Jimmy Sanders. Randy Jackson. <laughs> Debbie Rome. And Jerry Bender. Thank you all for the dedication, sacrifice, and countless hours of hard work that's helped shape WPT into the company that it is today. My family is forever grateful for the opportunity your hard work has provided us to sustain and grow our business. As we inaugurate the new plant, it doesn't represent just the newest and most exciting expansion in our company's history, but it also represents the largest U.S. capacity expansion in the air filtration media market in the last decade and stands as the largest production line ever built in the United States for these products. Right here in Ohio County, Kentucky, proving yet again Western Kentucky is not just a great place to live and raise a family, but one of the best places in the United States to grow and expand American manufacturing. <laughs> WPT has overcome every obstacle this project could throw at us and then some. This asset nearly doubles our production, adding only over 100 million square yards of capacity to our company. And that fact leads our management team to our mantra. In the face of every challenge and unexpected adversity, we say we will earn every yard. And I can confidently say that we have done just that to get this expansion across the finish line. This, is, this success can be attributed to the perseverance, relentless spirit, and leadership of our management team. I would like to recognize the key leaders who drove this initiative, worked long days, nights, weekends, traveled the globe, and fought hard for the outcome you see here today. Joe Hall, please stand. Grant Bradley. Sonny Hendricks. Christine Fitzgerald. I want to recognize the support system behind the scenes who have, who have always been able to be relied on and, and help make our mission a success. And, and that support system is Pat Cole, John Willis, Mike Henning, Mandy Madeley, Tracy Robbins Kendall, and Tammy Robbins Payne. <laughs> However, in every team, there are the unsung heroes. 
The champions of this project aren't sitting here listening to us pat ourselves on the back and they don't have an interest in our fanfare. They just want to get the job done, whatever it may be. And the real backbone of WPT, like the founding team members who, who came before them, are behind me through these doors. The men you will meet in a few minutes out on our production floor in command of this new asset are the heart of this project's success. They've dedicated themselves fully to this cause. They've embodied a whatever it takes and can do attitude, working six days a week for months on end to get this job done. The crew unloaded every shipping container. They set every piece of equipment. They drove in every bolt. They hung every piece of duck work and they pulled every wire, sometimes twice. <laughs> <laughs> and when that was done, they further applied themselves and quickly became experts on every facet of this production facility. During the qualification and validation trials, they adapted to every crazy idea I had. They ran the trials over and over again until the product and the process was perfect. All the time troubleshooting and debugging every issue that came across until it was right. This work is painstaking and requires incredible skill and attention to detail. They executed in such a flawless manner that every outside contractor, engineer, vendor, customer, an OEM partner that came through these doors complimented their, their knowledge and exemplary work ethic. I'm proud of all of them and I'm thankful that they are on the WPT team. I'd like to take a second to recognize them. Chris Ritchie, our process engineer. Thank you, Chris. Our mechanics, Todd Hazelrig, Josh Bender, Kevin Ashby, Jacob Stewart, and Ken Bach, and our electrician, Blake Cannon. We've also had the pleasure to partner with Owensboro Technical College and the Go Fame program, sponsoring two young men who have had the privilege to work and train alongside this all-star crew while they pursue their education and prepare to enter the workforce. Those students are Dalton Burns and Austin King. And leading from the front, working side by side with his men, our project manager and now Plant 3 operations manager, Brad Howard. When you see them out on the floor in a few minutes, please stop and say hello. In closing, I'm proud to be a part of WPT. I'm thankful and forever grateful for Wayne and the founding team members for having the courage and to take a risk and believe anything was possible. I can't wait to see where this incredible journey takes us next, but one thing is for sure that the WP team will earn every yard. Thank you. Congratulations, WPT, and uh, to Travis and his team for this latest expansion. In addition to being an employer and to so many Ohio counties, Travis serves on the Grinnell board representing Ohio County. So he does have a community spirit. So that I'm really proud of that. And thank you for your commitment to our county, Travis, and your team. Right now I have a pleasure that I've had a few times lately, uh, which I'm really proud of is uh, presenting our th uh, 63rd governor, which uh, I claim as a friend. Mm -hmm. I met him back when he was running for, for uh, that, uh, yeah, that big office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, met him then. We've been uh, visited a lot ever since. He's been to our county many times in the last couple of years. We're really proud of that. Uh, I didn't want to say the same things over and over today, but uh, you sometimes have to repeat yourself a little bit. And he's used to Rocky, so he, uh, he understands. I wouldn't say that if you wasn't here, Rocky. But I want to thank you, Governor, for your leadership during the pandemic shutdown and the natural disasters, the tornado which affected us. And the And thank you with your help for economic development. You've been here several trips on that, uh, several expansions in plants, and new, and new uh, businesses going in too, just as well. So again, I'm really proud to present to you our governor, Andy Bashir. Thank you, Judge. It is great to be back in Ohio County. I think since I became governor four years ago, and very excited to serve four more years as your governor.
trying to total it up, Judge, I think this is about 12 times that I've been in Ohio County it's for a simple reason. You have a lot going on. You, absolutely. <laughs> you look at the number of new businesses. You look at the industrial park and how it's taking off. You look at the investments in water and sewer in our uh, uh, Kentucky Product Development Initiative grants. There is truly a lot of momentum in this county and in this region. And for a guy whose family is from Western Kentucky, it is really exciting to see from the jobs to the infrastructure, the education and the investments. It's been a long time coming, but I believe Western Kentucky is as hot as it has ever been and has a really bright future ahead of us. And what a special story we are celebrating here today. You look at WPT Non-Woven's uh, corporations and it's an amazing story. From stepping in the void in 2008, when the community could have lost jobs at a time when we could not afford to lose one additional job. I knew the governor during the Great Recession. I knew him pretty well. And I remember being out there celebrating eight new jobs when we could announce them. Well, this kept jobs in this community. And you look at, at Wayne Stephan and Impact. We do these things together. Uh, you look at them stepping in at a time when we face such challenges, and in that time going from one to three different facilities in this county, providing good jobs for families, more opportunities for future generations, and all of these founding partners, and how you made it happen if that first facility hadn't been profitable. If you hadn't been able to make it through the hard times, we would not be sitting here today. So let's again thank everybody who was here on the ground floor. We did not be here. And what an amazing company. A, a third generation family owned success story from Wayne and now to Travis who's here with his family. And by the way, I'm impressed. Uh, mine are now 13 and 14. I could not get them to come to the State of the Commonwealth speech. <laughs> but here you've got the whole crew with you. And what an amazing reminder of why you do what you do for this community and so many others. WPT is a leading maker of man-made fiber that's being used in everything from filtration uh, media to building construction materials to insulation for fiber optic cable to a wide variety of consumer and medical products. WPT also puts a focus on replacing synthetics with more environmentally friendly materials like 100% cotton. Since Wayne founded this company in 2008, maybe we should say saved and recreated this company in 2008, WPT has steadily added capacity and great jobs. Around the same time, Travis was deployed south of Baghdad, headed to lead a reconnaissance platoon in Iraq. After being dis... And let's thank him for that side. <laughs> After being uh, discharged in 2010, he returned here to Kentucky. We want to thank you for your service and how it continues. You know, you have served our country, you've protected us at home, and now you're making more opportunity for more families here. Thank you for your continued service. few moments we'll cut the ribbon on WPT's third facility in Ohio County. After outgrowing their initial space in 2018, the company invested six million dollars and added 50 jobs right here in Beaver Dam. But now, just years later, they're doing it again. As governor, I get to help with big project announcements and groundbreakings, but today is truly the best of all of them. You know, the announcement is hope. The groundbreaking is progress, but the ribbon cutting is the reality. While some think it's the show of the three, it's when the jobs are here. It's when the opportunities are being filled. It's when the families are being impacted and affected. It's truly the very best of those three. With this new $19.5 million facility, WPT is significantly boosting the company's production capacity while adding 35 more jobs bringing the company's total employment to 135 Kentucky families. <laughs> so 
We love when companies from all over the globe want to locate in Kentucky, and we love getting that call from companies that claim they didn't have our number before. But it's when Kentucky-based companies truly expand that we know we're doing it right. We know that we've got the best workforce in America, and when a company like this expands, and expands for the second time to three facilities in the same county, Right? You know they're going to be the first to bring on people, the last when times get tough to part with them. This is truly the type of expansion that we know will, will uh, certainly uh, last the test of time. Uh, these are high quality jobs that are going to help us build a better future right here in Kentucky. WPT is truly doubling down on their bet on Kentucky and this community and they're betting their future success on us and this amazing workforce. WPT Corporations, thank you. Um, this is why we do what we do. It is an amazing sound, and I speak to my daughter through a closed door, so I love uh, hearing that. I mean, this is just another example of how we, Kentucky, are becoming a national economic leader. Uh, you look at uh, the last four years where we have had the best years in terms of new investment in this state. $28.6 billion invested in us, the most during the tenure of any governor, as I say, take that Steve Bashir. <laughs> but in all seriousness, what it means for our future. We're sitting at a moment in time, and this is a major step forward where we can turn the last four years of great economic development into decades of prosperity, where we can rightfully take our place as a national economic leader, where we will never be a flyover state ever again, but the destination, and not the place where people look last, but the place where they look first when they are making bet the company or bet the industry investments. Uh, you look at the fact that over the last four years, we've created 51,265 new full-time jobs here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And you look at the fact that they are really good jobs. We've had our second and third best years for new incentivized wages in 2022 and in 2023. 2023, top $26 an hour. Meaning we're making sure that these are good opportunities for our workers and for our families. At the same time, we're setting records in terms of our economy. Uh, whether that's the revenue we see coming in, the largest general fund surplus in our history last year, $1.55 billion, which by the way, means we have plenty of money to give our public school educators the big raise they deserve. It means we've got the largest rainy day fund in our history at $3.7 billion. It means we've had record low unemployment in the longest period of low unemployment, and we did it all while reducing income and property taxes. This is a special time in the Commonwealth, a time where we, have, we are smart and we invest in the coming years in our counties and in our communities. We can make sure that every county across Kentucky thrives, and no matter how big these two kids dream, and everybody else's kids too, you too, no matter how big you dream, that if you choose to, you can chase those dreams right here in Kentucky and the area that you're from. I think that's why we all do what we do, to provide for our families, but wanting to build that better commonwealth, that better country, and that better world for every future generation. And even the toughest of critics are starting to notice. Two of the three major bond rating agencies have upgraded our credit rating. That means that all the things we do as a state cost us less money, and the third is about to do it. Uh, and you think, about the fact that we've accomplished all of these things together, and I want to say together, and not just from the state side where you've got economic development, uh, Department of Local Government and Transportation, all in this room supporting this project. But Judge and, and, and Mayor, economic development is a team sport. We don't do it through one party. We don't do it through one part of government. It is all of us working together, supporting these business leaders, listening to their needs and responding. And, and these expansions, especially these homegrown expansions, we owe a lot of thanks to the pioneers who helped make it happen and those that take the risk on adding and adding. But ultimately, our commitment is to make sure that you continue 
to be as successful as, in Kentucky as you could anywhere in the United States and across this globe. And I want to take a minute just to think about the fact that we're here today despite being through a global pandemic and two natural disasters, the likes of which we had never seen. That tornado, an F4, on the ground in Kentucky over 200 miles, was the worst, deadliest tornado disaster in our history. It took 81 Kentucky lives, 81 children of God missed by their, their communities, including one individual from Ohio County. As you all know, I was on the ground at First Light, first at Mayfield at that candle factory where I thought we lost 100 additional people. And I prayed that morning for a miracle and our prayers in large part were answered that we didn't lose a lot of people in that facility. And I think about where we've come since. The fact that through that Team Western Kentucky Tornado Relief Fund, we're building 300 new homes, 175 are either completed or under construction. Ohio County has 11 of those homes, $400,000 of that investment. I think about the three new homes that we dedicated here, what, uh, months uh, ago and how special they were for those families. Getting to talk to them about that really tough night and how they were huddled together praying that they would somehow make it and then seeing them walk into some really beautiful homes, by the way, that had been restored and seeing them and their family make uh, new memories. It's truly special. And we always talk about how we got through the hard times and we got through them together. Well, today we're seeing the good times and the way we've gotten to them is also together. So I am really excited about being here today for this third generation uh, family owned business that now has its third facility. And in this budget that I propose to the General Assembly, we have a chance to do even more. As the judge knows, over the last several years, we have invested in our counties and in our communities in ways that Frankfurt has never done. For the first time, we provided grant funding where we haven't told you what to do. You know the most important projects. So in this budget, we proposed another $500 million of water and sewer grants with a certain amount going to each county to decide what's most important to you. We've continued our product development initiative uh, program with a $200 million investment in two different plots that help you take your best regional sites. Judge, you all have one in the second round, a, a regional site, and ultimately get that next improvement and next improvement so that next company is, is ready. We have a body armor fund for our local law enforcement because I know a state trooper that would have passed away in one of the deadliest nights that we've had in the last oh, decade in Kentucky, but for the most recent body armor to make sure those protecting you all have the very best. And so many other pieces in that budget that directly come to our counties and communities. I think your judge would tell you this is probably um, the best budget for counties and local communities that we have seen in a long time and making those investments expanding uh, water at the, the Trans Park, making sure that that next site here in Ohio County is ready, is gonna help us not just celebrate today, but celebrate tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Because while we are on uh, an economic development role, the likes of which we've never seen, I don't think any of us want it to stop. We wanna make sure that we're not just uh, number two in per capita economic development in 2022, but then we ranked that way in 2023, 2024, and 2025. That's how we ultimately get to that place where we lead the country and never follow again. So, so again, it is really special to be here with you all today. We're really excited about where this company is going. I'm really excited to get universal pre-K pass for this one and everybody else who's going to need it. Sorry, that was a shameless plug. Your job. Um, but I want to I, I end by saying congratulations to the county, to the region. Now, you all have worked really hard for decades to see a period like this come. I look forward to continuing to work with you, whether that's boosting infrastructure, recruiting the next company, expanding companies like this, making sure you all get the very best workforce that any manufacturing facility in America can get. Uh, let's thank them and let's let them know that a fourth, fifth, or sixth facility are always on the table. Thank you all very much.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a couple photos and then we'll everybody hang loose and we'll go out for a tour, okay? Emily? Yep. You're in charge.